Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're in for a treat because I've got myself a brand new camera to try. Um, the only thing is with it, it's 70 years old. <laughs> um, for a while now I've always wanted to do some like medium format fashion shoots. So today me and Heather, you know Heather, she's all over my channel. Um, we're gonna go into like Wolverhampton and do some like street fashion, but what I'm gonna shoot with today is this. Well, guys, so here it is. It's the Rolly Cord. This is the version three. So this was built between 1950 and 1953 in Germany by Frank and Heidecker. Um, yeah, it's a TLR camera. So you got it's a twin lens reflex, like an SLR is a single lens reflex. So you got two lenses. So you got your top lens, which is your viewing lens or the picture lens. So when you look through the viewfinder at the top, this is the lens what's showing you so you can focus, compose, and then the bottom lens is the lens that takes the photograph. So yeah, cool. Um, this is a Schneider 3.5 lens. It's a 75 mil. Um, and obviously square format, because this takes like 120 film, which is, and it shoots six by six negatives. So you get massive, cool negatives. Yeah, so uh, we'll give it a go and see her again. So we'll we'll go and grab Heather. But before that, I need to put some film in it. Um, me being a cheapskate, I've just managed to get some cheap film. So I've just got some Foma Pan 100. I picked up these off of like Amazon. I think I've got three rolls for like 13 quid or something like that. Um, so it's not the most expensive of films, but just as a first experiment, because I've not tried it yet, I just thought I'd get some cheap stuff. So yeah, so we'll load this up, um, go get Heather, and also, and then he hit the streets. Oh, what also I should mention, this is um, a leaf shutter. So it's not like a mirror shutter. Um, so you, with this, you can get lower um, shutter speeds, easily handheld, because it being a leaf shutter, you haven't got the mirror slap so you don't get any like movement. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I should be able to hold this quite low. Uh, shutter speeds like 20th of a second and stuff, he says, but we, we'll, we'll see. Um, also, it hasn't got a light me meter built into these. So luckily, I ran, ran, run through my cupboards and I managed to dig out my old Sekonic 308 light meter. So we'll be using this today. Um, yeah, just to like get the light reading before we take the shot. So yeah, so it's a bit of an experiment and it's, I've always wanted to have one of these cameras and I've always wanted to shoot with one. So what we'll do, we'll load it up with some film now and then jump in the car, go get Heather and then go to the location. So this should be interesting. I'll see you in a bit. Guys, we're just waiting for Heather to turn up. Um, she's probably having a wee or doing some more makeup, or <laughs> but yeah. So once Heather's here, we'll drive into Wolverhampton and we'll do some cool fashion stuff on film. I haven't shot film for like 20 years, maybe. Um, so yeah, so this should be interesting and it'll be fun. And yeah, so we'll see how we get on when she turns up. That is. So I'll just use having a wee, don't I? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hello! Good morning! Good morning. Ooh, you got your snazzy coat on. Good morning, bye people. I can't move with this corset on. Oh. <clears throat> I managed to find a parking space, which is ridiculous. <laughs> You're right. Oh. <sighs> corsets, that's corsets for you. Where are we going? Wolverhampton. <laughs> Wolverhampton. <laughs> You're going up the walls.
Find another grotty wall. Just find a bit of chest. Pew pew. Right, we've done one film. We're on roll number two. Fingers crossed it's gonna work. <laughs> I thought if we've walked all the way around all the hands been doing this bullshit. Well you know. It's gotta be done. But um yeah, you know, it should work. It's just we had a bit of a trouble to start with with the uh what's it called? winding the film on because I didn't realise you have to press the button to wind it on so I thought it was broke but we've, we've managed that I've got my light meter Heather's all lovely look there you go what is she she's 125 4 F4 lovely what does that even mean <laughs> but yeah so we'll carry on and we'll do some more stuff let's go
Right guys, so that's the shoe, but did we get any shots out of it? So before I show you the pictures, I got my negatives back and they're all okay. There's actually images on them. Um, there's a few little issues. I mean, this was a test shoot. So firstly, focusing. The focusing on the rolly cord is a real challenge. And I think my main problem was these glasses what I wear, when you're outside in sunlight, they turn into sunglasses. They've got like a, like a filter film on them, um, which was making it really hard because I have to use my glasses to get close up so I can see close up, like, like say for like when I'm looking at my phone and stuff. So trying to focus with like sunglasses on as well as looking through like a ground glass viewfinder was a bit of a challenge. So quite a few of the shots are just slightly out of focus. Um, I've managed to be able to pull some of them back and, you know, and get a bit, a bit sharper on them using like Photoshop and stuff. But yeah, that, that was the one issue. Issue number two was me not remembering to wind the film onto the next frame. Um, I'm so used to like cameras that just, you can just keep clicking and clicking. So when it comes to film and you have to manually wind it on, a few of the shots I totally forgot and then I took another shot of Heather and I mean, so we ended up with like double exposures. Um, it, some of them look quite cool. It, it works out quite well, but if I, I really wish I'd have wound it on more. I need some sort of reminder just to, every time I've took a shot to wind it on. So that was the next problem. <laughs> right, problem number three, I've got the films back from the, like, the processors um, and I decided to scan them in using my like, digital camera, uh, using a light box and I've got myself a film holder what you put on the light box. I'll probably do a video about it. But the big problem I've got is with dust. Um, I don't know if any of you guys who use like film cameras and you're scanning using a, like, a DLSLR, you scan your own stuff in. If you could leave a comment, give me any tips to how I can get dust off negatives when I'm doing like the actual shoot, like scanning them. Um, I've had a nightmare, I've cleaned them, I've wiped everything clean and I just can't seem to shift the dust. I suppose using a macro lens, it's come up, you know, it shows up the dust even more. So if, you, if anybody of you can give me any advice in below in the comments about the best way to like get the dust off your negatives, then we'd be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, but all in all, we got some cool shots um, I love some of them, some of them come out really well. We had a great time, it was a good experiment and I'm definitely going to be using my like rally cord again uh, for, for future shoots. Now I know like my teething problems and stuff. So yeah, anyway, so here's the pictures what we got. I hope you like them and I'll see you at the end just to say goodbye.
Right guys, so there you go. Ooh. One vintage camera, film shoot, with young Heather here. Vintage. In a super cool fashion. Um, yeah, hopefully the pictures have come out and if they have, you've already seen them. <laughs> but <laughs> if not, this video will just go in the bin at some point. <laughs> well, yeah. But we'll try it. Yeah, so anyway, as before, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers, likes. So make sure you comment Keep as well. Keep subscribing. Keep commenting. Keep pressing that like button. It really helps a lot. You don't realise how much. And thanks again to Heather for being a usual star self. And uh, I yeah. The experiment. And yeah, for an experimental shoot where it could go horribly wrong. Bless her. She's still here. Yeah. So anyway, so from the lovely streets of Wolverhampton, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.